Good morning, everybody. It's Coach Gonzalez with the daily What's Up morning session, guys. Super stoked. It's a beautiful day. Looks like we had a lot of rain and whatnot. I'm currently cruising on 470, guys. E470, that is. Headed up to see my good friend, guys, Professor Sean Stewart. Super stoked. I was uh, thinking about a couple different things, guys, as uh, I woke up this morning. I'm not sure why all this is on my mind, but uh, definitely wanted to share a couple of different things. You know, I, I think what started it was we had uh, one of our moms, guys, yesterday ask an awesome question to um, to Coach Soto, guys. Some of you guys know that he's joining us now um, on the team, uh, being part of the team, that is, and uh, she asked a great question, you know. She said, so, uh, she asked Coach Soto directly. She was like, so, you know, uh, how is it that you got a chance to, um, you know, work with the kids and, and be uh, on the team, you know, and it was really kind of cool because Coach, you know, kind of thought about it for a second and, you know, I kind of said a couple of little things and I kind of jumped in also and, and kind of let her know that, you know, how I felt about the process, which was, um, you know, Coach Soda's been working his butt off, man, and, you know, he's been with me for a long time now. He works hard. He contributes, uh, you know, at way before I even mentioned anything like, uh, hey, you know, can you, uh, you know, would you like to do this more as an actual you know, paid opportunity. He was there. He was giving up some of his time. He wasn't just coming in for his classes. You know, he was doing what needed to be done before it needed to be asked for. You know, I've got some other up and coming kids that, you know, volunteer their time, guys. They show me that they really uh, are interested, not just in the growth of themselves personally, but of the team personally. And so I think that's what uh, kind of got all of this going today, you know, uh, in terms of, you know, what I'm doing, why I'm headed up right now to see my good friend Sean, guys. Uh, I'm headed up there to help him out truthfully you know he needed a couple little things and so uh, I happen to have those things and I'm happy to be able to help and I'm making time out of my day to go help him and why guys it, it comes down to contribution right culture contribution uh, specifically those of you guys that had a chance to go to our you know summer kickoff party guys that we did you know it was awesome you know one of the things that uh, my good friend Derek Stewart my little brother right and I were talking about you know this weekend when he was out here and he was at the event you know got a chance to show off and share some of his jiu-jitsu with us you know we were telling him you know the coolest thing about this is, is it's growing every time and it seems to get bigger we have great friends that are coming from various schools not just the, you know our locations or anything like that but we have so many amazing people at Colorado Brazil and Jiu-Jitsu Stapleton and West and you know, with the CTA organization and, and we just you know we try to create a culture that is contributive but contributive to the culture I mean it's important absolutely you know to have people that you hire or that are parts of your student that build your specific culture but you also need to have people that are specific contributors right and that's the big thing guys you know what are you doing for your school what are you doing for your organization what are you doing for your community right if you're just you know casually showing up and casually being nice that's awesome right obviously we want you there we want your energy there we appreciate your energy there we, we appreciate the love that you give us as martial arts instructors uh, because without you guys obviously we wouldn't be able to do what we do oh my god I wish you guys you guys can see right now I had just got off 470 sorry for the crazy just off the topic thing right now but I got off 470 and I'm on 70 now I'm headed in towards Stapleton and the views of the mountains are ridiculously beautiful oh my gosh uh, anyway sorry so I'm back to it culture right that's what I'm getting at you gotta contribute guys you gotta give some love back you know those of you guys that are really wanting to maybe one day do this do you want to learn the business game do you want to learn how to do what I do what professor Sean does what professor Angelo what Shannon all these guys that you know that may have a school you know do you want to know do you want to be part of that team then here's what you got to do guys you got to contribute you know, those of you guys that are hopefully one day uh, hoping to step on the mat, do what, you know, Coach Soto is doing with us right now, uh, what, what some of you may have the opportunity to do later. How is it going to come? It's going to come through your honest, earnest actions, helping build the community, contribute to our school and time and effort and energy. It just is what it is, guys. You know, I, I like to tell a story about when I was a kid, you know, and how hard I had to work, you know, to get things done and to get things going you know let's face it you know I'm, I'm an immigrant's child you know um, and my parents worked their butts off to amass a lot and unfortunately different things happened in life my parents went different directions and, and they made a lot of mistakes and I learned a lot from some of those mistakes honestly I didn't learn a lot uh, as well so for everything I, I 
did learn, I'm, I'm guessing there was probably 90% of the things I didn't learn and I had to struggle, I had to figure it out. And I'm glad to say in my mid 40s, I've learned to, to pick better mentors, to, to seek and listen to things that are better for me as an individual to help me get to where I wanna go. Where do I wanna go? What are the things that I've always wanted? I wanted an amazing community. I wanted an amazing family. I wanted people in my life that when I say, hey, I need your help, are like, absolutely, Gonzo, I'm right there. I'm right there for you. I'll be right there for you. But you know what takes, what it takes to build that up, guys? It takes you doing it first. It takes you doing it first. So anyway, guys, just my thoughts this morning, right? You want to be amazing. You want people to see you amazing. Be amazing. Be that amazing person for them. Be that person they can count on. Be that person that if something hits the fan in the middle of the night at 3.30 a.m., you're going to call. You're going to get a response. And they're going to they're gonna be there for you. Why? Because you put in the work. You put in the effort. And over all these years and over all these times, you've proven how amazing you can be for them. And trust me, man, when you just do good for people, when you're just amazing for people it's gonna pay itself back it may do it in a couple of different uh, ways and, that, and the, the level and the quantity may be different but but that doesn't matter the fact is is you will have there you will have people that are there you will have people that will care for you you will have people that will be good for you so anyway like I said just one of my morning thoughts one of my morning processes so really quick I guess I should say thank you very much to Marcella uh, for asking that great question yesterday you know it really got me thinking it really got me thinking about again what it is that I want to create with my team, with my school, with my extended family here in the greater Denver area. Omaha, obviously, love my guys out there, always in the house representing my team, my main team back in San Jose right now. And we're all over the place, man. If you haven't been watching the way CTA has been blowing up, you should. We are not messing around, guys. We are trying to build an amazing community of jujitsu uh, with just amazing people just everywhere, man. So anyway, guys, do yourself a favor. Find a quality martial arts school, a quality jujitsu school, whatever it is that turns you on, man. And then be a contributing factor in its growth. Be good to yourself. Be good to your school. I'll check back in with you guys on the flip side. All right, everybody, really quick. Um, I think it's like 11 o'clock or something like that. Anyway, just wanted to give everybody a heads up. Our .NET site uh, has been updated now with the uh, address for the CBJJ school Stapleton, guys. So uh, all my Aurora guys, don't forget, starting uh, June, we've got the 1030 class that we're going to be doing. Professor Stewart has been amazingly gracious in allowing us to come in and teach CTA material uh, for our Aurora guys um, there. So we're super, super stoked. Do me a favor, guys. Um, um, let's help build some traffic. Let's help say thank you to Professor Sean by making sure that we tag ourselves when we get there, guys. Share the website, uh, his website. Please make sure you uh, tag it as well. I'll try to include it in the links below, but also uh, include otamimartialarts.net. It will show his address specifically, so it'll be awesome. It'll start sending people there. But also, like I said, we want to show a lot of love, a lot of support for Professor Sean and this amazing thing that he's doing for our Aurora crew um, so we can help maintain, obviously, our jiu-jitsu for our guys up there and uh, keep building a strong community. Thank you so much, Professor. Um, can't wait to get going. It'll be amazing all the way through. Again, please, uh, all of our guys that are going to be taking advantage of these classes, otamimartialarts.net, N-E-T. N -E -T. Uh, share it as much as possible uh, so we can have good presence on that and, like I said, and help drive amazing traffic. Thank you so much again, guys. Uh, talk to you soon.
Hey guys, Coach Gonzo here wrapping it up for the evening. Uh, thank you everybody for all the awesome stuff that happened today. I can't uh, even begin to tell you how excited I am, man. Thanks Coach Soto for all the work you put in today. And I uh, wanted to say thank you everybody that was really awesome to the new guys that came in this afternoon or this evening, I should say, for class. We had Nadia, let's see, oh, excuse me, let, me, let me go back oldest we had Katya we had Nadia we had Sasha uh, really really cool girls man I was super super impressed with how mature these girls were how fast and well they moved and and how fast they picked everything up considering I think they were seven um, six and five it was nuts how smart these girls are anyway it's a lot of fun uh, three new gals that are joining our program to test us out see how they like our uh, family so to speak here at uh, Otami Martial Arts anyway so great day guys looking forward to the next day please keep up with everything if you have any questions guys let me know don't forget we do have our summer camps that are going to be starting next week our new summer schedule is going to be starting next week we have tons of copies of the schedule we got like 80 copies of the schedule at the school hard copies please pick yours up be in the know get it done super excited if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to get off here now and go try to take care of some other business stuff. Try to get to bed before, I don't know, 12 o'clock. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Keep hustling. See you tomorrow.